Okay. So we're talking about browser extensions. Hopefully yeah. a truck doesn't start backing up again. A browser is the most used piece of software to access the internet. So that being said, and knowing that the population on the planet is doing most of their activity in a browser, there's a really high degree of focus by criminals to find vulnerabilities in those browsers. Because if they do, there's a very wide variety of things that they could possibly obtain access to. There are things that you do in your life every single day that is considered best practices and just good general hygiene for your own personal world, right? You wake up every morning, you brush your teeth, maybe you get some exercise, you eat breakfast. There's just general things that you do in life. And updating software on your mobile devices, updating software on your computer, updating your browser should really be part of that. Because those are things, if you neglect those and you never do them, there will be vulnerabilities that will be in your operating system or vulnerabilities that will be um, in your browser that could in turn result in compromise to your OS, compromise to your browser, could result in loss of you know, information, could result in loss of cryptocurrency, can be loss of personal and private information. Lots of things can go wrong, just like if you don't eat healthy and you don't brush your teeth and you don't get exercise, things happen to you physically as well. And so it's extremely important that as a consumer in the cryptocurrency space or in just life in general, that you make updating your systems and updating your applications part of your daily routine. There are essentially like many applications that can run within that web browser. And those are typically called plugins or browser extensions. Some of those extensions are there for, for security purposes. You can get ad blockers that run as browser extensions. You can get you know, things that will flag potentially malicious websites. There are also browser extensions that can be used as part of cryptocurrency as well, you know, within the cryptocurrency community. There are some wallets that are browser extensions that basically run software within your browser that allow you to connect, say, a hardware wallet or a software wallet to participate in that cryptocurrency's blockchain. Now, these are all part of this, you know, plugin or browser extension ecosystem. And it's really important to know that when you run things in your browser, they're running essentially as part of that experience. And so if you're downloading extensions from untrusted sources, or you're also not keeping those extensions updated, there could be vulnerabilities that could creep in to your own world and potentially cause you harm. What hypertext is, is essentially the content you're viewing in your web browser. And it's the method of transferring that between a server, a web server on the internet, into you, into your browser. HTTP by itself sends that communication in the clear. It's not encrypted between you and the web server. Now, if you add the S onto it, HTTPS, S stands for secure. And what that means is that it uses essentially a different protocol that encrypts that transmission to and from the server. If you're sending or receiving information to and from a web server, you should make sure that it's to an HTTPS address and not to an HTTP address. And also pay attention in your browser to when it says not secure, because that means that information you're sending to and from that server is actually being sent completely in the clear over the internet and anybody, whether it's on your local network or at your ISP or somewhere along the path, the vast amount of space between you and that web server out in the internet could be intercepting that transmission and read everything that's going to and from. 